On this video, we're going to look at the Alabama RV show here in Birmingham, and I'm going to give you our tips and tricks on the next steps of buying an RV. Are you in the market for a new RV? A little friendly advice from Bill and Kelly's Adventures. Go to your local RV show. That's where we're headed today. Although we're not in the market for a new RV, my cousins are. We're gonna meet them down there, show them around, go through them all. It gives you a great opportunity to see everything from a truck bed mount pop-up all the way to a Class A. All the different price range, manufacturers. Gives you an opportunity to walk through them all and discuss it amongst yourself without having a salesman walk around with you. So that's where we're headed today, so come along. One of the first things that you want to figure out is if you're going to do a Class A, a C, or if you're going to do a total, a fifth wheel, or a pull behind. Now for us, we just love a fifth wheel because it gives that homey feel, but a lot of people love Class A's. Just because you can do stuff while you're traveling down the road. Once you determine if you're going to do a fifth wheel or a pull behind and you don't own your own truck yet, that is a great thing because that gives you more options to look at. You can look at all the different options and then buy the truck that fits that camper. Now, if you already own your truck, you need to research and see what RVs you can pull with your truck because that's gonna limit you on the options that you can have and you can only look at ones that your truck can pull. The next thing, you need to figure out what price point so that you know what the max you would spend for an RV would be. And then that way you can limit and not go in the ones that you can't afford because you're gonna like them the best. Now, bumper pulls, those are going to be your cheapest option. You can get in them very inexpensively. Now, your next step up is going to be your fifth wheel, and they're going to be a lot higher than your actual bumper pulls. But again, for us, we feel like a fifth wheel is more homey feel because the ceilings are higher as well and we think it's easier. I did do a video comparing a fifth wheel versus travel trailer if you want to watch that. I would make you a list of things that you want and don't want in an RV before you come but be flexible with that list but that way at least you know the things that you want to look for when you're looking through the RVs as the light goes out. <laughs> Are you turning the light on and off? No, I think it was fine. You wanted to be Bill and Kelly's Adventures. You said Bill's not in it that much anymore. If you're gonna be living in your RV full time, make sure the warranty of the manufacturer will cover you living in there full time. Because some do and some don't. So my tip to keep everything straight, what we did is we would go in, walk around, look at each camper, and then come back out and take a picture. If we liked the camper, we would take a picture of this so that we knew what model and stuff was. And then we would go inside and take pictures of the features that we like and didn't like so that we could go back and compare them later. Typically what we like about the RV show is you can see so many different brands here. I'm sad, they had no brand design or Forest Rivers. But the great thing about usually is you can see multiple brands at one place since dealerships only carry certain brands and you would have to drive from dealership to dealership to see the different, different kinds. Hopefully, if you're in the market for an RV, this video helped you. 
Till next time, like and subscribe.